Hello everyone. Thank you. Welcome to another Networks video. <clears throat> Topic 2. This one is looking at a HSC question from last year. And uh, so dealing with the Networks topic, let's have a look at what we're after. Um, so this is a question worth four marks. Um, diagram represents a network with weighted edges, so hence all the numbers. Draw a minimum spanning tree for this network in the space below. Oh, I'm going to do it over here. And determine its length. So minimum spanning tree. Well, firstly, a tree. Um, covers um, vertices. It has no loops, no repeated edges, uh, no cycles. They're the three things we've got to look out for. That's a tree. Then a spanning tree. Does all this but covers every vertice. And then a minimum spanning tree. Mum. Does all this with the least weight total possible? Least total weights. So there's a couple of algorithms I use to do this. I'm just using, going to use the one I know, the prims. So what I do first is um, I'm not going to. Just, I'm not going to redraw everything, I'm just going to draw over the top of this one. Um, but what I do first is have a list of all the vertices so I know, keep a track of which ones I've covered. G and H. I think that's all of them. Yep, that's all the vertices, so I need to know that I've got, a, got all those covered. <coughs> And then what I do, um, always good to do alphabetical. So I'm going to start with vertice A. And since there's only one edge coming off it, that's quite easy to go A to B. So I'm going to keep a track of the weight total. Now A to B is 2. And that means that vertice A and vertice B are covered. We don't need to cover them again. Um, but we've got to keep this in mind, no least repeated edges or cycles. Now we've covered A and B. A is, there's no other edges, so we've got to look at B and see from B which edge is the least weight from B. And it looks like we've got two of them of the same weight, so it doesn't matter which one. Uh, so I'm going to go B to C. B to C. has a weight of 3 B to C and C is covered now now from C and B which we're going to find the edge with the least weight from B and C since A is already covered, finished so least weight from B and C both we've got a 3 coming from B and C we've got 5, 2, 3 I'm going to go with the least weight one, which is 2, from C to F. C to F is 2. So now we've got four of the vertices covered. Now, going back, now I've got to consider all of these four vertices, which edge coming from them is the least weight. And now we've got a 3 coming from B, 5 and 3 from C, and F has got a whole lot of 2's coming from it. So it's going to be one of these ones. So I'll probably go um, 
F to D. Equals two. Remembering I've got to uh, avoid loops, repeaters, edges, and cycles. And uh, so F, oh, F is done and D is done. Okay. So there's no cycles, no repeated edges or loops. Yep, it's good. Now considering all of these now, these ones I've ticked, least weight edge coming from any of them. <coughs> we could go... Um, there's a two frame, there's still those twos coming from them. So it doesn't matter. Let's maybe go the D to E. D to E. Is two. And now E's covered. And now we're going to go back because E's got three from it. We've got a five and a three there. And we've still got those two twos there. And we've got edge of vertice G and H to cover. Now I'm going to keep in mind the fact that that one is there, so I'm going to use that. So probably what I'll do is go F to G, which is 2. And then to use the one there, G to H is 1. So there's every vertice is now touched. We haven't got any loops. If we'd come back from here to here, or gone from there to there, that creates a cycle, or from here up to here, they create cycles, so we can't use those. So there's no cycles and no repeated edges or loops, so that's all good. So now we just add up the weights. 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, 14. Total weight is 14. Thanks everyone.